you worked with Ernst and Young? I don't know a lot about them other than, and I, I purposefully didn't do a ton of research, but it's really like consulting and thought and charting yeah. courses. That's sort of what I get at Ernst and Young. What did you, what superpowers or what skills did you get about your time from your time there? So my goal there, um, the uh, so I'm a little bit of a healthcare geek, to be honest. And so oh, I was that's like, cool. I was like, okay, well, if I do consulting, I can travel around the country and see how healthcare is delivered in different parts of the country, in different hospitals, different health systems. And so I was like, I'm in. And what young person doesn't like to travel? So sure. I um, I thought this would be really interesting. And, you know, I've been fortunate to have some good mentors um, throughout my life. And so one of my mentor said to me, he said, this is going to be a really good opportunity for you. And so I would say when you're a consultant, you get a lot of exposure to different, different environments, different levels of thinking, all of that. Um, I'd say number two, as a consultant, you'd be very methodical in how you approach things around problem solving and or going from a idea to a implemented whatever action. So um, those would be two of the things that I would say third is, um, I just have developed a tremendous network because yeah. I worked in so many different types of settings. Um, Ernst & Young at the time was one of the big six firms. I don't think right. there's not that many anymore. Right. Um, and so it was, you know, it was a really, it was a fantastic opportunity to do what I wanted to do, which was get exposure to healthcare on a national level. But then also what I didn't realize was just, it was a very disciplined, kind of way of problem solving and uh, implementing change. Yeah, I, I I geek about innovation. That's like been the thing. It's almost a buzzword for the last couple of years. But for me, it's really fascinating. And when, when I hear people who study it, they talk about a lot of the things that you just said, which is some people might think of problem solving or innovation as this magic trick or this thing that just happened. It's, it's, it was a stroke of, of insight. It just happened. And can you processize problem solving? I don't think anybody disagrees with that, right? So yeah. your your skill set or what you brought to the table was you had a bank or the organization had a bank of problems they had solved and ways they had solved it. And you got to sort of peek under the hood at so many different organizations who had different problems. But I bet you saw a lot of patterns there, right? Like in terms of, you know, hey, we've seen this before. You know, we can kind of customize their solution, but we we get the gist. Yeah. I would say one of the things that I, so there were a lot of different, we did a lot of different projects with a lot of different organizations and different ways to get there. I would say one of the things actually that resonated with me as I got into other organization was the common thread of, um, you can have great healthcare, you can do a great job delivering, but people need to have access. Yeah. And so that was one. And so that, that was something I didn't, like, I didn't walk in with that. But as I got exposed, it became one of a little bit of a, of a personal area of interest. Was that something you spotted or was it something other people kept highlighting too? No, it was as I went to these different organizations, I would see the same theme. Yeah. Play out. And so some of the things and the good fortune, you know, again, I was fortunate enough to do some uh, be on some projects at different organizations and some of them were focused on access. But to be able to see it at different organizations and to have a little bit of a focus on that, um, it became a, it became my kind of my pet area of healthcare that I was yeah. I just I was hyper you know like hyper focused on everywhere I went I would notice it even if it wasn't part of the project. It's funny uh, because when you start doing that, it's like uh, you know somebody told me I bought a Jeep a couple of years ago, and someone yeah. says the minute you buy a Jeep, all you notice is Jeeps on Jeeps, the road. The same thing, yeah. There, it, there, there were the same amount of Jeeps yesterday than they were the day after I bought it, but you just keep yeah. seeing it. Now you see it, you see it everywhere. Yep. Yeah. So that afforded me, like I said, some some uh, new skills and abilities, but it also allowed me to 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 see to kind of do my little study um, around different organizations and. Uh, in healthcare delivery and, and what they did for access and so everyone had their strengths and, but there were always gaps too. Right. Um, so, and then when you talk about innovation, I mean, that's that again, how do we, when we think about delivering healthcare, improving the lives of our communities, and then also thinking about just as a society, how do we improve our healthcare model and how people access it. Like that is one of the biggest keys. You can have great healthcare, great research and teaching, but people have if to be able to get, get it. 